Hey guys, time to get on ready. So I always like to wash my hair with the Color Wow Color Security Shampoo and condition it with the Color Security Conditioner. Simply being, my hair's bleached, I need to make sure I look after it, it has no sulfates, no silicones, and it just leaves my hair and scalp super clean, super healthy, super fresh, but without any buildup or leaving any nasty residues. So I always like to wash my face in the Skin Iceland Facial Wash. It's great for stressed skin and my skin gets super tired. I'm always on a flight, I'm always going somewhere and I do break out every now and again. So it's just a really good way of cleansing my skin and making sure I don't get any of those pimples. This product is so good. It has a super cooling sensation, which is so nice on the face. I love how it cools the face down. Just gonna add a little bit of water. And then I literally just Put it all over, I really get it in there, especially in like my facial hair. Just because my facial hair, I always find I break out in there for some reason. I always try and like push upwards. Every time I have a facial or if I speak to, you know, anyone to do with skin, they're always like upwards, anything is upwards. These are my best friend. Anyone that has tired eyes or anyone over the age of 25 need these in their life. This is Skin Iceland and it literally, I put it on after I've had a shower and it just takes away any puffiness, any kind of like black circles and really cools down under the eye. I always do it for five minutes once I've got out of the shower and I literally just put it on underneath my eye. I always do these on planes, you get a few funny stares but quite honestly I don't care. And I just leave it for like five minutes but on a plane if I put it on I'll fall asleep and Honestly, when I wake up from the flight, my skin is just like great. My eyes are super sort of cool and flat and they're not puffy and don't look tired. It's the biggest giveaway sign. Working in this industry is never a nine to five job. It's always working late. So these really do come in handy just to make you look fresh and keep you looking like you're on some sort of normal schedule. Okay guys, it's been five minutes. I'm just gonna whip these off. They come off super easily. It's looking better. And next I'm gonna use the Repo Serum now. This is amazing serum that I always prep my skin with. It's great for dehydrated, tired looking skin. Um, just makes the skin look more youthful and I literally just pat it in over the whole of my face. And I find it's really good for aging as well. Like I'm 35 now, so I guess I'm in that kind of age bracket of age defying, anti-aging, anti-tired, anti-fatigue, all of that goes on. So it's just a really nice soft product that sinks into the skin. I love this range. Um, Drunk Elephant It's a really nice range. It's vitamin C, um, it's for the under eye and it just really kind of works on the under eye and takes away that puffiness. Just pat it in. I learned to be as gentle as possible on the under eye because I used to smash that in and I was always told it's the most delicate area. So just put a little bit in, gives you a little bit of a glow. Vitamin C boost. This is a retinol cream and it's really good for anyone that has spots. I really get like breakouts and pimples in my um, beard area. I guess because I work out and I sweat. This literally has become a lifesaver for me. Um, I just put it on, small layer, and I really like smash it into my beard area and it really dries it up and basically takes away any excess oil. But really, since I started using it, it's been like night and day with not breaking out. Next, I'm gonna use a moisturizer. This is the Dr. Diamond Diamond Effect Moisturizer. It's super light. This is a little secret I always like to add to my moisturizer. Um, it literally makes you look like you've had 12 hours of sleep when you've not. So this is basically like sun drops. It's from Drunk Elephant. You just add it to your moisturizer. And it's basically just a glow, so it doesn't, it doesn't stain um, the skin, it doesn't stay, it just looks good for the day. So my skin's like this now, I just put it on as I kind of apply my moisturizer and it basically makes you look like you've been on holiday and had a little glow. I'll always try and carry it down my neck and onto like my chest as well, just so it kind of continues all the way through and not just stop on my face. I've learned that, you know, I put so much stuff on my face to moisturize it. It's really important to look after your body as well and just moisturize it. I'm gonna use the Santel 33 Body Lotion. It's super light, but I love it because it has a really good fragrance. So I'll just kind of put that over my whole body. I just think it's important to like keep your skin moisturized. I moved to LA a couple of years ago and since I've been in the sun more, I noticed that my skin gets so much drier. So I'll always just try and put that all the way over my body. 
Is this rose water was introduced to me a few years ago and it's the one product I've never stopped using. It's so nice and refreshing. Just makes your skin feel really revitalized and moisturized. I'm pretty obsessed with this product actually. I spray it on everyone I see. I'm like, try this, try this out. So I just spray it on my face and it just makes me feel chilled out. It makes me feel, it has like a real calming effect to it as well. It makes me feel relaxed and my skin gets really dehydrated, especially working with products, hair dryers, heat irons working out at the gym. The rose water is just a really fast way of moisturizing the skin, giving it a good glow. Also, when I'm working with my clients, I want my hands to smell good. So I always keep it in my kit and I'll just spray it on my hands before I do my clients. There's nothing worse than if you've eaten food or anything like that, putting your hands in someone's hair. You want your hands to smell good and you want it to kind of have that nice approach to someone. So for me, it's just a good energy source. Okay, I've learned to look after my teeth in a slightly different way. Since moving to America, I went to go and see Dr. Alper and he gave me this um, Dr. Alper electric toothbrush. I'd never used an electric toothbrush before and this literally changed my life and my teeth. Everyone always asks me what my fragrance is and I never really tell them because I try and keep it low key. But I'm gonna tell you guys now, this is my favorite fragrance. This is Nasmato Black Afghano. I always spray it on. I think it's kind of become my signature smell and the scent lasts all day. But I spray this on and I feel ready for work, even ready for bed. I always put it on before I go to bed. I'm not sure why I put it on before I go to bed. Well, you never know what's gonna happen, I guess. Anyway, that was me getting ready. Hope you picked up a few tricks and hints and now you know how it all comes together. So it's a good night from me. Hey there, it's Jenna Rosenstein, Senior Beauty Editor for Bizarre.com. I hope you loved that video because guess what? We have a special event coming up on our YouTube channel called Beauty Week. The week of November 12th, we'll have five beauty videos and surprises I promise you won't want to miss. So don't forget to subscribe, follow us on all of our social media channels for more information, and uh, go ahead and watch that next video.